Hi guys, I'm Torin. Today we're going to be creating over 30 little sketches to put in your bullet journal spreads with the theme of Valentine's Day. Let's check it out. All right guys, so today is a bit of an art slash bullet journal video. It's hopefully to inspire you to use some of these drawings in your bullet journal. So I basically filled all the things that I associate with Valentine's Day, including the most hearts I've ever drawn on one spread. And I've been doodling hearts since forever. Now, speaking of doodling, I can't say this without having a little giggle inside because as an Aussie, this word doodle means something completely different here. So I'm gonna try my hardest to overlook this and keep calling them doodles, mainly because it's hard to describe these little effortless sketches in any other way. So there are either drawings or sketches, but I'm gonna stick with doodles. Now this here is the super easiest technique to drawing roses. And once you've practiced it and you feel like, you feel like a master, um, so you basically just do a continuous swirl that starts at the middle and spirals around itself but always touches the lines from the previous swirl and that's what makes each section look like individual petals. So I'm now just going around the page with lots of elements that I think of when I'm doing, when I'm thinking of Valentine's Day. So you've got envelopes with little love letters in them, teddy bears holding chocolate hearts. Uh, we've got an engagement ring here. Every girl's favorite Valentine's Day involves that, I'm sure. So I've decided to keep this whole spread just using the one pen. So it makes it really easy if you're at work doodling and you've only got your office supplies there. But obviously you can take this idea and color it in or use it around your spreads uh, with pencils or watercolors or even just using a red pen or a blue pen to color in some little feature colors to keep with that simple idea. So this little airplane here was inspired by a little love letter that flies and then I went from that thinking about the New York love sign and that was inspired by this one. adding some little musical notes around the place just to make the spread more interesting. And here we've got some wrapped chocolate wrappers. I wanted to color this one in really sketchy. I think they look better when they're a bit sketchier, not so specific. A great thing to always use on Valentine's spreads is arrows and hearts in thought of Cupid. And then what's Valentine's Day without some love heart balloons? So I added those in here. And now this little bird sketch, I was so happy with how this turned out because I thought I'd use their feet as little tiny love hearts and they just look really cute caressing each other on the stick there. <laughs> well, that sounded weird. And moving on to a heart with wings <laughs> and some feathers for writing love notes. Okay, we're moving on to a card here, going for some nice scratchy lines. Once again, I think it makes it look more doodly, like you're just sketching at work while you're bored on a phone call or something. Adding more arrows around the place from Cupid. A treble clef, which I haven't drawn since I was in high school music, so I was pretty stoked that I remembered how to do that. And a cute little easy flower like a carnation or a rose. The old male and female symbols interlaced. Always a classic at Valentine's Day. And some cute little locks. These remind me of the padlocks that you put on 
the, um, the fence in Paris somewhere. Pretty sure I did that a while ago. But yeah, they're cute little heart padlocks. So that's always nice. And now I'm just finishing up the spread with extra shading here and there. Not too much, because I do plan on coloring these in. Uh, let me know if you're, see if you're interested in seeing this as a coloring sheet. I could always attach a PDF for you guys if that's what you're interested in. And if you enjoyed the little flip book at the beginning of this video, here's a little sneak preview of how I created it. I just used my iPad as a light box and drew out every individual frame to create that cute little piece. So that's it. I hope you got some great doodle ideas for your bullet journal. And thank you for watching and I will see you later.